What's up, YouTube? It's me, Christy McPatriarchy, and today I'm bringing you a trip report. So this is the first trip report I've ever done, and it's a companion piece to a video I did for Sexual Futurist. Uh, the link will be in the low bar when that gets posted. Um, so I want to talk to you about the first time I took synthetic cannabinoids. I made a lot of mistakes during this uh, experience that I was having and I want to tell my story as a cautionary tale to others who are thinking about taking this substance. I want to make clear before I say anything else though that this video is for harm reduction purposes only. I am by no means encouraging anybody to take these substances um, um, because the side effects I experienced were pretty scary, and a lot of, I've seen a lot of people have some pretty scary side effects. So on day one of my first time taking synthetic cannabinoids, we were driving from Columbia to Atlanta, and we were going to Atlanta to see a concert, and about halfway through our drive, we decided to smoke these synthetic cannabinoids. We talked a little about smoking them before we went on, we decided to go on our trip. And we decided that that was a good time to get high. Now, I had experimented in the past with other stuff, and knowing that this was a THC analog, I expected it to hit very similarly to marijuana. Unfortunately, I made the initial mistake of not researching the substance thoroughly enough, because if I had, I would have known that these synthetic cannabinoids are far more p potent than herbal marijuana because they are just a THC analog. The marijuana plant has over a hundred cannabinoids in it and some of the cannabinoids kind of self-regulate the high so that it is not a traumatizing experience for most people who take the drug. The problem with these THC analogs is there are no such chemicals within these herbal smoking blends which regulate the high. Um, there are uh, smoking blends which have more than one type of cannabinoid analog sprayed onto them, but the blend that I was smoking was just sprayed with a uh, THC analog. So you, I got a lot of the effects that you would get if you smoked a strain of marijuana that had a high THC content and that was low on the other cannabinoids, uh, but it was much more uh, intense because the drug was is much more potent than marijuana. I didn't notice the initial effects because we smoked the, our first hits while we were uh, in a car, so I was sitting down when I took the hits and then I was sitting down for a very long time afterwards, like an hour to an hour and a half, I think. Um, so I didn't feel the full physical effects, I just noticed the visual effects, which were that um, when I took this stuff, it gave me this visual and physical sensation that the earth was expanding and contracting. Um, but not like the earth, like the ground, I mean like the atmosphere around me. So I felt like everything was expanding and contracting. So the sky looked like it was kind of moving upwards and then coming downwards like that, if that makes sense. And then um, like the trees and stuff on the side of the road looked like they were caving away from the street and then becoming, uh, moving expanding until they were convex and almost touching the highway. Um, so that was the only effect that I really noticed while I was sitting, and I don't know if that's because I was sitting or if that's because I just didn't have enough of a load in my system yet to experience the full effects of the substance. Once we got to Atlanta, we went, we got to our hotel, we checked in, we did all that stuff, and we went to our hotel room, did what couples do when they are alone together, and then we decided that it was a good time to re-up on all of our, on our substance. So, 
before we took more uh, more of the synthetic cannabinoid, we had a couple of drinks. We were drinking some rum. And at the time, I was not having the best relationship with alcohol. And I was inexperienced taking synthetic cannabinoids. And I wasn't entirely familiar with the effects that they would have on me. So it was really not a good move on my part to mix those effects with the effects of alcohol. But I did. I had two drinks, if I'm recalling correctly, and then we reloaded the pipe with some more smoking blend. And he handed the pipe to me and I took three of the most monstrous, heroic hits that I've ever taken in my life. That was a big mistake. So, well, there I was. Everything seemed fine while I was sitting on the bed taking this hit. I stood up and I immediately fell down. Or at least that's how I remember it. Because at this point, my memory becomes very disjointed. I had a very hard time walking even three feet in a straight line without falling down or running into something. Um, this was when I noticed the second most disturbing thing about taking this drug, which was that it had a really horrifying effect on my motor skills. Uh, I could barely walk. I couldn't see very well because the, uh, expanding and contracting, uh, visual sensation that I was having earlier in the car was magnified by like 10,000. So my vision was extremely blurred, which was adding to my clumsiness. And I, for some reason, this stuff just really messed up my motor function. So I could barely walk and it was really horrifying. So in our high state of mind, my boyfriend said, we should go get food because if you eat, that will soak up some of the chemicals. Now, I don't know if there's any actual scientific basis in this. I really doubt it. But to my high brain, that sounded reasonable. So we went downstairs, which was a challenge for me. I, I had to hold on to the railing. And uh, then we wound up taking the elevator the rest of the way down because I was not having a good time walking. And then we got into the car and I was happy because I was sitting again uh, because walking was kind of a challenge. And my boyfriend handed me his digital camera and he told me to change the batteries, that this would sober me up. It had the exact opposite effect. I got miles more messed up as I was trying to put change the batteries for this camera. It took what seemed like 15 or 20 minutes to open the battery hatch, which was holding the batteries in place. I don't know if it actually took that long because I think my perception of time was kind of warped because we were going to a Chinese food restaurant that was not that far away but it seemed like we were in the car for like three or four hours. So I don't know if we were just driving around in circles for hours because we were so high, or if my perception of time was just that messed up. But it seemed like I spent like an hour trying to put these batteries in this damn camera and I kept putting them in the wrong way and it wouldn't work and I was so embarrassed because I couldn't get it to work. And finally I did get it to work, but uh, I didn't do anything to sober me up. In fact, it just made me feel really confused and even more high. Uh, so we finally get to this restaurant and I'm still having a bit of a hard time walking in a straight line, but I'm not falling all over the place. But it's very obvious I am intoxicated on something very potent. So we get into this restaurant and it's like a nice sit down Chinese place, but it's like a lower end uh, sit down restaurant. And I think the waitress can tell that I'm pretty high um, because I'm stuttering and mumbling and slurring all my words together. And I don't think that you can could understand me at all because my boyfriend had to repeat my order for me. Uh, 
apparently he could understand what I was saying, but this poor waitress couldn't understand a word of what I was saying. And, um, so I was embarrassed because I was incredibly intoxicated in a very public place. And I'm not the kind of person who likes to get that messed up in public. Uh, I like to be able to be alert enough at, to articulate if I need something or at least be somewhat aware of where I am. Uh, I was in a strange city and I was way too intoxicated for being in such a strange place. And I could have really gotten hurt because I was really intoxicated and it interfered with my motor function to the point where I could barely function. Uh, I My thought processes were not working the way they should be. And... If I were with someone who had wanted to hurt me or wanted to take advantage of me, he could have definitely done that, and I don't think I would have had the strength or the will to fight him off if he had wanted to hurt me. So I'm really lucky that I got into that situation, and I wasn't in that situation with someone who wanted to hurt me, because that could have turned out extremely badly. So, once we got done eating, whether the food thing with soaking up the chemicals actually worked or not, or whether it was just enough time that had passed so that my high would kind of reach a plateau, I was feeling a little better after I ate, and I was able to walk in straight lines, but my visual perception was not what it normally is still, but we I was well enough that we decided to go see a movie, and that was when I noticed the third, the other side effect that bothered me, which was that I became uncomfortably sexually aroused, which was not good, because if you're in a situation like that, you could make some pretty risky sexual choices. Thankfully, I didn't make any stupid decisions in that respect, but... I shouldn't have been that intoxicated in a strange city. So...